Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the fall, upcoming fall update. Not exactly. It's all about the fall mm, changes coming to the game and what we're going to do and how we're going to achieve the ability to get all of the DIYs very quickly. As you can see with Nook's Cranny, um, there are some changes that occur on September 1st. You'll see that the decor has changed. There's pumpkins and some garland, leaf garlands on the um, over the door. And as as you you know walk through your island, you'll see some slight changes on the on the on the September 1st, but you won't really notice that much. The trees and the grass will change over time throughout the month, and they'll change color. The grass will become more of a yellowish brown, and the trees will become will change colors to a more orangey kind of a uh, very fall look and you're going to want to change up your decor as well to match the new color scheme of your island so whatever things that you have lying around all your custom designs if they have colors like bright colors they will look different um, against the yellowish grass this is another item you will receive on september 1st um, it, it's a cushion that you get from your mom and then you can actually customize it and I'll show you all of the different customizations of that of that cushion and I love all of the mom's items they're so cute so for those of you who are familiar with kid core um, the mom's items are incredible for that kind of theme throughout your island so as you can see there's denim and animal and colorful quilt and blue with flowers and red with hearts. Those are the customizational um, di like the different options you have to customize the mom's cushion. I wish we could get more of those, but that's something I guess you just have to trade and acquire from others. Or perhaps maybe if you were to create more players in the game, I think you could probably get more of those. You can create up to eight characters on your island. So if you really, really want more of them, that's the way to do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there and we're gonna go over to um, creating, oh yes, uh, another item you'll get from, from uh, uh, Isabel is this uh, DIY trees bounty little tree. And that one is made with pine cones and acorns and hardwood. And we're gonna find out we're gonna uh the thing is you can only get acorns and pine cones from shaking the trees so we will have to go in and shake every tree to get these item to get these uh, materials for these diys that you're going to get throughout fall throughout all of uh, september october and november i think november too I, i'm not sure i think it f maybe it's just september and october to be honest i'm not really sure at this point but this is what you're going to do you're going to pick um one uh, pine tree and you're going to pick one normal tree because the pine trees give out the give out the uh, pine cones obviously equip yourself with the net so that you can capture any wasps if they appear and just go away and shake the tree over and over again and then that will i, I think it's like one in every eight well at least this is what i found after shaking these trees for such a long time um i found that about one in every eight uh, tree branches will uh, make a will, will uh, show up after about eight of them you'll you'll get a pine tree or a pine cone and then so you just keep doing this over and over again and there's a pine cone right there so it's about one in eight it's, if you sometimes you won't get anything for a while and then all of a sudden you'll have two so it, it kind of makes up for that so once you reach this point um, for whatever reason this is the very first time I did it this is what happened. I, I was able to get up to like 16 branches, but this is not normal. This is actually, I think it's because I had captured the wasps. Maybe that was sort of like a glitch that allows me to ca uh, get almost 14 branches or 14 spots all the way around the tree. That's not normal. You're actually only, usually can only get about eight spots around the tree. So anyways, I thought I'd just document it here. This might happen to you too. So you just gather up all the tree branches and, uh, oh, and you also get a, uh, a waste bin and leave that close by to where you are harvesting your pine cones and acorns 
near the tree. You can get all of your pine cones and acorns from one tree. You don't you don't have to constantly walk around your island looking for trees to shake. Every all the trees will continuously infinitely give you tree branches, acorns, and pine cones. So you don't have to run around. So it's it's this is a good way to do it if you're grinding and farming for acorns and and pine cones. Well, uh, for well pine cones from the um, pine trees. For the acorns, you're going to go to regular trees. So once you have uh, collected all the tree branches, you can throw them away. And it's good to actually partner up with someone. So you can have one person sh constantly shaking the trees and the other person collecting. And then at the end, when you've collected um, lots and lots of acorns and pine cones, you can split them up evenly amongst yourselves. So that's a really efficient way to do it. So now that uh, that is the tree that I've chosen for for pine cones. I'm also going to show you how to get acorns. So I'm just going to speed very uh, quickly through this. I've, I used to shake, constantly shake this tree over and over again until I'm able to get some more pine cones. And now I'm at this tree. And these trees give out the acorns. And you're going to do the same thing. Just keep constantly shaking up to eight spots on the ground and or seven or eight spots on the ground depending on what's around your tree and just continuously do this until you're able to farm out the how many acorns you want and these acorns and pine cones they stack up to 30 so you can do a lot uh, in one session with especially with a partner if you just constantly do this i know it's super boring but i mean you can actually you know just if you have a turbo controller you can just have that going for a while uh, for for how many session like for each session like up to eight and then just set the turbo controller again and so on and so forth or just you know do other things like you can listen to a podcast or um, look at your TV while you're doing just sp spamming the a button and then you can acquire all of the acorns that you need and uh, pr relatively painlessly So I'm quickly gathering all of the tree branches and acorns and pine cones that I can as I continue to shake both types of trees to get acorns and pine cones quickly. And it's even quicker if you work with a partner. So definitely partner up with someone. Monarch butterflies are the new bug. One person can shake, the other can pick up. continue to do this over and over again until you're able to get all the acorns and pine cones that you require. And there you have it. I was able to quickly gain about, about an, after an hour. This is how much I was able to collect. All the DIYs and items for Fall Trees Bounty series. Here they are, what they look like. There's an arch, there's decorations. Here's another look at them and the maple leaf series that you can also get these are walls and hedges and flooring and finally a mushroom series seasonal DIY Those are all of the, the tables, the furniture items, and decorations that you can acquire. That you gather up all the mushrooms that you can. And those are from the ground. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you are looking forward to the fall changes that are coming to the New Horizons. I certainly am. And I hope that you are able to gather, get all the items that you want to get. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much. See you in the next one.